From making his MMA debut to saying bye to his boxing gloves, Jake Paul's future isn't looking as bright as it did before his loss to Tommy Fury. So what's next for Paul's career after he lost to the Brit? Internet sensation Jake Paul was undefeated before he stepped in the ring with pro boxer Tommy Fury. Yeah, he was doing it all to shut the critics who called him out for never fighting a boxer with a professional background. Paul did, and he lost. This was definitely one of the most high-anticipated fights of the year, and it had been in the making for a couple of years now. If you tuned in, you know that the fight was a really good one. Fury remained dominant throughout except for a slip in the final round, which won by a split decision. The Diria Arena in Saudi Arabia had big names in the crowd, such as Cristiano Ronaldo, Deontay Wilder, Deji, and many more. Excitement! <laughs> So you know it was a big one. After all, it wasn't just between Jake and Tommy, but both had careers and reputations at stake, and Jake definitely got the worse end of it. It's crazy because a lot of people were expecting him to lose. Even Drake was on his side, so it was kind of a shocker when he did lose. But I guess at the end of the day, nothing beats a pro boxing experience. I think all the trash talk Jake did to hype up the fight only made things for him worse. He called Tommy an amateur and whatnot, and then lost to him. Jake, you just spoke a little too soon. His journey from YouTube to becoming a professional boxer has hit a major speed bump. So I'll say Tommy Fury. Yeah, lovely shot. We spoke about it earlier. Maybe a right up got brought in. About concentrate. So what's next for the influencer? Well, he's ready to do it all again. Jake Paul wants a rematch with Tommy Fury. Maybe it'll wear off in a few days, but as of now, Paul really wants a rematch. And nothing's stopping him because there was an automatic rematch clause in the contract, one that Jake wants to activate as soon as possible. But is it actually a good idea for the 26-year-old? Not really. I mean, just think about it. Tom Tommy Fury won for a reason. He's skilled, he's got the experience, and he's got the genes. His brother Tyson Fury is a two-time heavyweight world champion, and he's one of the best at his game. Well, here he is on the edge of the ring, and easy as ever, going to step over the top rope. I suspect he just... His dad, John Fury, was also a pretty decent fighter back in the day, so Fury's got it all. Yeah, Jake is pretty skilled as well, but he was busy starring in a Disney show when Fury was boxing tough opponents. People were expecting Paul to win, because even though the Brit is good, he's definitely not the best. There are better boxers out there, but that only means that even a professional boxer with light experience will be tough for Paul. And Paul has a brand to save. He needs to think more like a businessman at this point. If he loses to Fury again, again, his name will be damaged a little too much. Paul was making a name for himself in the boxing field after defeating big names such as Anderson Silva, Tyron Woodley, and Ben Askren, but none of them were professionals. He lost to the first professional he fought, and he'll most likely lose again without enough training. And will it even be worth it? Maybe this is a lesson more than anything for Paul to stay in his lane. Paul missing wildly. This is good. Down goes Tommy Fury. Down went Tommy Fury. And go back where he started. Jake Paul will go back to fighting influencers. One thing that we shouldn't forget about the Ohio native is that he started in entertainment. After running a very successful YouTube channel, he starred in a Disney show called Blizzard Vark and then took on fighting as a professional. His first boxing bout was with fellow influencer Deji Olatunji, and it was an amateur one. But that's where he started, and that's where he should stay. Paul has a long way to go before his skills get anywhere near professional boxers. He's going great with his excelling training camps and world-class sparring partners, but he's still not in the same league as Tommy Fury or Anthony Joshua. All Paul needs to do right now is fight another influencer, cash a big check, and get a victory to his name. And I think we all know the perfect opponent for this. Yep, I'm talking about Paul's longtime foe, the man himself, KSI. For the longest time, the American influencer has had beef with the Sidemen member. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Let's make yeah, it happen. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Oh, well, well, Let's make it happen. Turns, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm A yeah, side. Yeah. You, you, you're A side. A side and you've probably heard about it unless you live under a rock. KSI is one of the top influencer boxers right now. He's undefeated with four victories, and even fought two opponents in the same night. The rivalry between the problem child and the nightmare is another level above what he had with Fury, so we can only imagine how hyped up this fight will be, and it might even fill up the entire Wembley Arena. A win over KSI will definitely save... Oh, oh 
Good shot from JJ. Left hook hurts him. Into the body. He's down again. Call it. Call it. Surely. Paul some embarrassment from his loss to Fury. Both the boxers have been talking about a possible grudge match for a while now, so it's only fair that they sign on the dotted line now. The problem child has always teased fights with big names, such as Canelo Alvarez, but he ends up booking fights with Woodley and Fury. His future isn't Badu Jack, it's KSI. And if it's hard negotiating with the Brit, here's a few other possible opponents. Carl Froach, Mike Perry, Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor. The list goes on and on, as there are a lot of people who fans want to see in the same ring as Paul. But the question is whether any of them would want to fight him after his loss to the Love Island star. It's okay because Paul can choose to lock away his boxing gloves for a while. I mean, we all remember that he's preparing for something bigger, right? Jake Paul might just switch to MMA. The former Disney star is set to make his MMA debut later this year, and he's not taking it lightly. MMA is on some other level, and it's definitely not as easy as influencer boxing. But Paul Paul is making sure he's as prepared as he should be before stepping into the octagon. After all, he's been training with the best. He trained with Jorge Masvidal and sparred with Mike Perry before he signed with the PFL, and his debut will be a treat for fans. MMA teased that Jake will be fighting a top athlete, so it'll definitely be an interesting fight. And if MMA works out, I wasn't smart. My schoolmates making fun of me. I used to landscape. I just had a dream, and I chased it, and I worked hard for the YouTuber turned boxer, for better or worse, he may have to say goodbye to boxing. Jake's got a lot of options here. Yeah, he's not undefeated anymore, and he lost to a reality TV star, but he's still Jake Paul, and with his $30 million net worth, he doesn't really need to box or fight MMA if he doesn't want to. I mean, he can always go back to home sweet home YouTube. Don't we all remember Jake pranking people in his silly YouTube videos? Has anyone actually like off-roaded a Rolls truck? You haven't ever seen it, right? Look at the mud. <laughs> Splish splash, baby. There's always an option for him. Before becoming the problem child, Jake was a pretty successful YouTuber, and if he doesn't feel like putting in too much training, he can always just give up fighting. Paul's got a lot of brand deals. He has a gambling website, and he is involved in several different products. So even if he loves boxing, he definitely doesn't need it. Paul has financial security, so he can always bait at any moment. It's fair to wonder whether he'll approach approach training with the same fire as he once did, and if not, then we'll see him on YouTube. I will embarrass him. I will beat him. I'm built different. That's all for what's next for Jake Paul's career.